Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post fight review from last night. Boxing match, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is the second weekend in a row where we have some good boxing matches and MMA. And this is what boxing has to do if they want to keep up with MMA, man. They got to keep putting out matches like this. I don't care who it is ESPN, The Zone, PBC, whoever it is. They need to put on good championship fights like this with spectacular results like this. I mean, talking about two guys who really want to go in there and fight. We're talking about Oscar Valdez, the challenger, man. He went in there, executed a good game plan, showed great heart against the champion, Miguel Burchell. Really went in there and showed that he wanted it and scored a beautiful 10th round knockout. I mean, he went in there, executed a good game plan. First off, I have to say this, man. Like, Oscar Valdez, the game plan he executed, it was beautiful. But I have to say this for the champion. Look. When a guy continues to hit you with the same punch over and over and over again, you got to make that adjustment. You have to make that adjustment or eventually you're going to get knocked out. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to get knocked out if he continues to hit you with the same punch over and over. I mean, I've seen so many boxing matches go this way where a guy just continues to hit a guy with maybe a left hook or a right hand over and over. He continues to hit you in that blind spot. Then eventually you just shut down after that one punch. Yeah, you can take it maybe six, seven times, maybe two or three times. But eventually he's going to hit that switch at the perfect time and you're out and that's what happened that's what happened in this fight oscar valdez he executed a good game plan beautiful boxing from the outside in the first half like first few rounds let's go back to the first few rounds i say like one through four he was just executing a good game plan but on the balls of his feet beautiful one twos beautiful time jab i mean he's the shorter fighter and this is what i'm saying a short fighter can't out jab a taller longer fighter it's all about timing, though. You just have to know his body language and his movements and how he sets his feet. And also Valdez was doing every time Valdez seen how Burchell was about to launch his jab, he would be quick. He would time it, be first up the middle. He'd pop off a jab. He'd pop off two or three jabs and move out, move out lateral. You know, he would use his lateral movement. Then he would come over the top with that good right hand. And uh, Burchell, he just seemed a little bit stiff to me, just going through the motions like he couldn't catch up with the faster fighter. He was just trying to lob big shots. And he was missing a lot. He he landed a few of his jabs of his own because Valdez was taking a few chances. But Valdez was the much stronger fighter. And in that left, and in that um, fourth round, after you know throwing so many jabs, he was able to get comfortable and hook off the jab and just throw a lead left hook. And he cracked him with that left hook. He cracked Burchell with a good left hook. He had him on rocky legs, and he just like jumped on him. He jumped on him in that fourth round and had him like I think it was the fourth or fifth round. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But when he jumped on him. He just had him on wobbly legs throughout the end of the round. I almost thought the ref was going to stop it then, but the ref gave him a standing count, uh, which was right. You know, he gave him the count. It counted as a knockdown. It was definitely a 10-8 round because Valdez was just unloading on him whenever he landed that left hook, and he just continued to land beautiful left hooks in that round. Uh, I'd say in round six and seven, that's where uh, Burchell, he started to get his legs back. He started to take more chances. He started coming forth with a more of a pressure attack and body attack. Uh, Valdez kind of took his foot off the gas. But I think his corner told him something at the, uh, I, I say at the end of the seventh round in the corner. They told him to pick it back up, and then back in, um, I say round eight and nine, that's where Valdez went right back to boxing, uh, throwing those good power shots, good right hands. He was mixing it up like you can see here. You know, he was mixing in that good right hand, just cracking Burchell straight up the middle. But it was that left hook that was doing all the damage. I'm talking about to the to the body, uh, splitting the guard, and just straight up the middle. You know, he was landing a lead left hook. And there just came a time when he looked a little bit more comfortable in there. I'd say the the pacing and the style matchup, well, I won't say the styles were similar, but the pace and the um, the texture of this fight kind of reminded me of Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather versus Diego Corrales. You know, I mean, the boxing wasn't as polished as Floyd Mayweather's, but I think the way Oscar Valdez, he approached this fight, he was just able to uh, be on the balls of his feet, attack the bigger, longer guy, with just good timed attacks and just hooking, you know, just straight up leading off with those left hooks, kind of like how Floyd was doing against Diego Corrales. He would move around side to side, then he would launch an attack and make the slower man just kind of chase him. That's kind of how uh, Valdez was doing in this fight, um, you know, just landing those good left hooks over the uh, over the um, around the side of uh, Burchell's guard. And then finally in that ninth round, he just picked it up, landed like a good good barrage of shots that you could see was really hurting uh, Bur Burchell. And then like. At the end of nine, you could just see in like Burchell's face, like the fight looked out of him. Like the fight looked out of him. They kept showing those close-ups. Like Burchell, he really looked out of it, like he didn't have anything anything left. And it definitely showed in the tenth round. Uh, Burchell, he came at um, he came at Valdez with an attack. You know, he came at him. He was looking to put that pressure, but Valdez was just measuring, 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 backing up, and boom, launches off a good left hook, 
cracks Burchell. Burchell's legs are gone. He crumbles, falls face first on the canvas. And when they fall face first, like they say, man, they don't get up. And beautiful knockout. It was just a beautiful knockout, but at the same time, it was scary, man, because when Burchell hit the canvas and his face, and he, he was uh, laying face first, I could kind of see his twitch. And I don't know if y'all saw that, but you could kind of see the leg twitching, like he was having a little bit of like, seizure attack there. So, uh, they just turned him over. He was on con unconscious for a while. He was responsive, but, you know, they were just kind of um, uh, letting him lay there for a little bit. But uh, it was a beautiful knockout by Oscar Valdez. Very scary, though. But uh, uh, Oscar Valdez, he executed a good game plan in this fight. Beautiful boxing. And uh, just got comfortable in there to a point where he could say, look, these left hooks are landing. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to just continue to chop him down. And if Burchell's not going to make that adjustment, I'm going to keep taking advantage of that mistake and that error. And eventually this left hook is going to knock him out and that's how you got to do it you know if a guy continues to expose and hold having exposed weakness in there just keep on you know chopping him down chopping it down chopping it down until eventually it falls and that's what he did a uh, beautiful beautiful fight by Oscar Valdez definitely a candidate for knockout of the year I mean we're, we're only what two months deep in this year but it's definitely going to be up there I got to remember this one you know because there may be some more to come but this was definitely a great knockout guys let me know in the comment section what y'all think so now uh, Burchill lost his WBC belt, uh, his 130-pound belt, to um, Oscar Valdez. And Oscar Valdez said he would show interest in a uh, Shakur Stevenson fight. I'd like that match. I would like that. I mean, we would talk about the, the, the pressure and the boxing skill of Oscar Valdez versus the boxing skill of an upcoming champion in uh, Shakur, Shakur Stevenson. You know, I think that would be a good fight. But, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what y'all thought of this fight, if y'all have seen it. If you have seen it, if you haven't seen it, definitely check this one out. Oscar Valdez definitely scored a one for the ages knockout, you know, for his career. Combo breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.